Hey there, Fallout fans. It's McFly. I'm finally feeling 100%, and it's time to get down to another Fallout 76 scrap farm. Currently in September 2020, we're finishing up on the Fortifying Atlas Bravo event, and we're gonna have to turn in 250 million glass. Once we finish this, we'll actually finish the Brotherhood of Steel build-up, so they can actually arrive in Appalachia, and we can actually get an extra week of Meat Week. I like me some Meat Week. Alright, but let's get down to it. The name of the game is Glass. Truth be told, it's just about everywhere. The number one biggest tip I could probably tell you is just to go into your scrap box, find something that has glass in it, or just pick up glass, pull it up in your junk menu on your Pip-Boy, then click on the button that says View Components, and then you're going to want to tag for Search. And there you go, you can actually click off the video and go look wherever you want now. Just make sure you pick up everything that has a little magnifying glass next to it. For me personally, I want levels at the same time, so I'm going to be grinding my time over at West Tech. Some of the super mutants will drop fusion weapons here, which will then will break down into glass shards. And obviously, given its name, you can just look around for all the test tubes and different types of beakers and science type glass. As for glass locations, it probably won't surprise you when I say my number one spot here is going to be the whole White Springs area. I can't pinpoint a specific spot, I literally just walked around everywhere on this property. I started at the golf resort, and like a fine tooth comb, I just went through everything, all the way to the resort itself, and then eventually ending off at the White Springs Station. To be honest, this grind was a little difficult for me. I'm guessing after years of playing Fallout games, I've kind of just put this filter over my eyes to neglect any kind of like glass cup or bottle. It was a little strange, and it definitely messed with my eyes a little bit. After about like 20-25 minutes of walking around, I ended up with about 219 glass shards. But I wasn't done yet. If you play like me and caps aren't much of an issue, I would definitely recommend stopping off at the promenade inside the actual White Springs Resort. It's a strip of multiple vendors, and a couple of them actually have a couple bulk glass that you can buy off them for about like 500 caps each, I think it was. And I think my charisma is only like level 6, so... After White Springs, we're going to check out another familiar spot, and that's going to be the Sons of Danes compound. This may be a little familiar because there's a fun event that pops up here called One Violent Night, but other than that, it is a great spot for alcohol bottles. Once we spawn in, we're going to make our way up to the Buck's Den, but we're not going to go inside yet. We're actually going to make a right around it to the back, where they have this nice little shooting range. Riddled with bottles and other kind of junk, but I wasn't being shy, I was literally just picking up everything. Especially if you have Fallout first, I totally recommend it. After that, I combed through all the different surrounding trailers, and then finished off inside the Buck's Den where the real prize is. Again, keep your eyes peeled for those shot glasses and tall drinking glasses if you're not used to picking them up. One run of here, I was able to walk away with 165 glass. Third stop on the list, we're actually heading back towards Morgantown, and we're going to stop off at the Fraternity Row. Once you spawn in, you're actually going to want to enter the first instance house in front of you. Once in here, definitely turn on your light and take your time. You're going to be looking for every kind of alcohol bottle imaginable. Once you've picked through this house completely, I want you to fast travel back to Fraternity Row. Once we spawn in again, we're going to follow on the screen, you're going to find some flasks on the way, but then we're going to make our way to another Fraternity House. Same deal here, you just want to go through it slowly and just pick through it all. After this, I was able to walk away with another 100, which was pretty useful. And my last quick stop, not too far away, is definitely a tiny bit south to the Big Al's Tattoo Parlor. Before entering through the back entrance, you can turn right and actually pick up a bunch of bottles around this little wreckage area, and then head on back. I have another video on the daily quest you can actually do here, and I love this NPC. His name is Biv, and he runs a very loose speakeasy. Yet another location just to take a fine tooth comb through, top to bottom, especially bottom. And then, hey, grab the daily quest while you're there. Maybe you can get a nice little alcohol recipe. With Biv's location, I was able to grab another 115 glass, there's obviously a ton more locations with glass out there, but these were just the four I wanted to specifically highlight. If I were to make an overall recommendation, I would just say, hey, tag glass, and then go to a location you haven't been to in a while, and maybe just rediscover some things. I can almost guarantee you you'll find a ton of glass there, especially if you got it marked. And I bet you'll have some fun to boot, because not gonna lie, some of this glass farming is kinda boring. For me at least, that's just me, I'm sorry. Thank you guys again so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. I hope this information was somewhat helpful for someone out there. Maybe just try not to cut your fingers while you're out there picking up all that glass, I don't know. But likes are always appreciated. If you guys want to see more Fallout 76 content or overall entertainment like this, feel free to click down there on my channel and work away. As for me, I got videos to edit. I'll catch you guys out there in the wasteland.